Hey guys, it's Hope Love, and we're ready to do the next one. Okay. There's nothing to help with Pansy Draco side. Also, by the way, viewer discussion is a vibes. Um, this is by Kate Alex, by the way, again. Draw the line. You guys probably already know this by now. Um, sorry if there's no thumbnails on them yet. I'm going to upload thumbnails later. Um, otherwise than that, hope you enjoy. There's nothing to help with, Pansy. Jake aside, gathering his books as well. I've told you. I've already told you. Let it be. There's hardly any drama around here these days. Everyone's con these confessing left and right after the war. And now everyone is in happy relationship. No one has pain for me to enjoy anymore. So... Now I'm your source of entertainment, precisely glad to be serv glad to be of service. Draco rolled his eyes and turned headed upstairs. Oh, before you go, I heard people are setting a ton of new clubs this year. You know, school unity and all that jazz. But the point is, there's going to be a fair like thing on Sunday for clubs. Want to join? Card, Crab, Blasey, and I. Stuff is worth checking out. Plus, I heard there's going to be food and stuff. Hmm. Why not? What time is it? It's any all. It's any. It's an all day sort of thing. Starting after breakfast. All right. I'll meet you there. Great. Now go to your room. I bet Pot is waiting for you. Patsy smirked. As she dodged, as she does sit, sitting hex. Okay, I'll be back. My mom wants me to go and get her phone in two minutes. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry for that. Now, here we go. Let's continue reading. Okay, we're on to the next chapter. It's all fun and games until someone catches Felix. Chapter 4. Wake up, Harry's sheets were violently thrown off of him to show a sheepish yawn and an angry looking Hermione. What's the matter, Harry said, rolling over and shoving his face into his pillow. What's the matter? Harry, it's two in the afternoon. One would think you died, you missed breakfast, and then also lunch. Harry, money betrayed. Many. Barthreaded? Harry? Do you plan on getting up any time today? Ugh! Harry groaned, rolling over to peek Hermione. To peek at Hermione with one eye. Why do I even need to get up? It's Saturday. For one, because we have potion essays due on Monday, which I bet you haven't even started in transfiguration homework, not to mention all the other classes I'm sure you've been putting off this week, and I've barely talked to you either me or Ron all week. I was hoping we'd be able to get some to do something today before you go off with Malfoy. You very well know that it's not my choice to be hanging out with him. Harry defended, suddenly awake. It's not like I enjoy his company, Hermione. And I've already finished all my homework. Malfoy has helped me with my potions essays. Hermione looked at Harry for a moment with a shock written over her face. No doubt from the fact Harry already had all his work done for the first time ever, but recovered real quickly. Good, then get out of bed. So we can all do something today, Hermione said swiftly, turning around and walking out of the door. What's her issue? Harry said, turning to Ron after the door's closed. Don't know. I think she's caught the first year using a book as a coaster earlier today and took offense, said Ron said back, laughing a bit. <laughs> all over that. All at over Apparently so, but I know she really does want to do something. It totally sucks that you're with Malfoy. You're stuck with Malfoy. 
Okay, I'm going to stop right here to see the time. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this up pretty soon. <laughs> Tell me about it. Harry swung his legs off the bed instead of walking into his trunks to get out some clothes. How's it been anyway? It's been all right, I guess. I mean, it could be worse. We've gotten... We haven't gotten in any major fights, I suppose, yet, so I suppose that's good. Yeah, don't let Hermione hear you say that. She already got it said in her head that it's a good idea. You definitely don't want to reinforce it. Don't worry, I won't. What about you two? Anything new, Harry said, with a slight smirk at Ron, <laughs> who turned a light shade of pink. He knew that Ron had been trying to go a step further with Hermione for months, but he just couldn't get enough courage. Ron chose to ignore Harry's implication, though. Not much, just homework and classes. Hermione's been adamant that I get all my work done on time. I'm definitely not envious of you, Harry said. Around, around his toothbrush. Yeah. Well, I'm not envious of your situation either, Ron laughed. <laughs> At least I've got a girlfriend out of it. Harry shot, a, shot him a glare. <clears throat> okay, and I'm going to end it right there. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be doing something big for 100 subscribers. You can help me make that suggestion down below. Don't forget to make the code word if you have any suggestions for edits to this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. And that'll be all. Bye.